breaking a deadly boat collision involving a Fisher Island ferry. It happened early this morning in government's cut. The FWC is now investigating this incident, and Local 10's Trent Kelly is live in Miami Beach with the details. Trent. Syrah, Andrew, all of this happening just before 3.40 this morning, not far from the Miami Beach Marina here near Port Miami. You can see some vehicles with FWC still here on scene. There's some officers standing uh, just behind them right now. They appear to be waiting for the medical examiner to arrive. That's after we're told one man was killed, a second man rescued from the water after their boat collided into a ferry. A deadly boat collision in the waters near Port Miami overnight, leaving one man dead and sending a second to the hospital in serious condition. According to Miami Fire Rescue, it happened just before 3.40 this morning when a 30-foot boat collided into a Fisher Island car ferry in the government-cut channel. Workers on board the ferry were able to pull one man out of the water, paramedics rushing him to rider trauma in Miami. But while being transported, they say the man mentioned his friend was also on board the boat and was now missing. That led crews to call in the Miami dive team, who immediately launched a search and rescue operation. That search ending minutes later when a second man was recovered and pronounced dead on scene. No workers on board the car ferry were hurt. Florida Fish and Wildlife officers now in charge of figuring out what led up to the deadly collision and why it happened in the first place. Meantime, the U.S. Coast Guard sent out this tweet just a short time ago saying, quote, they've established a temporary security zone limiting both inbound and outbound vessel traffic for Port Miami while FWC conducts an investigation and salvage efforts following that early morning collision between two vessels in the channel. Interesting to note there, they say salvage efforts, implying that the boat involved that the uh, victims were on may have sank into the bottom of the channel there. If so, that uh, salvage effort or recovery effort for the vessel could take quite some time. As I can tell you, uh, that channel there near government cut is very, very deep. Meantime, back out here live, you can see the uh, medical examiner's van literally just arriving on scene uh, just a few seconds ago. Uh, back to the Port of Miami, though, and how this is impacting operations there. I can tell you there are currently three cruise ships, three very large cruise ships that now are prohibited from entering the government cut channel. Uh, as a result, they're just sitting offshore waiting for any word as to when they can enter the channel again and pull up to the terminal. Uh, in fact, we've been in touch with one passenger on board one of those ships who says they were told that the Port of Miami is currently closed. No word yet as to when those ships will be able to re-enter the channel and pull up to the terminal there. So no doubt this is something that is going to be impacting a lot of traffic uh, operations there near the port today. So just something to keep in mind there. But again, one man now dead, that second man still in the hospital following that deadly boat collision here with the FWC continuing their investigation. As soon as we learn any updates here, we of course will bring them to you on Local 10 and Local10.com. But for now, that is the very latest live here from Miami Beach this morning. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.